I am so excited about this yarn unboxing. I found a new company I never heard of before and I bought some yarn from them and I'm gonna tell you about my experience. I'm super stoked. So welcome to my channel, Raggedy Crochet, where we talk about everything that is yarn and crochet related. And I have tons and tons and tons and tons, more than tons, a crap ton of free crochet tutorials. And I put them on nonstop. Boom, boom, boom. Almost on the daily, sometimes twice daily. Um, today is a 1 17 20 24. I think that's the first time I got it right this year. I've been saying 2023 20, and the other day I thought it was April. Anyways, I am so stoked. So, um, to see this this yarn. So if if you know you've never seen you you're new to my channel, please it's free to hit that subscribe button. I got like at the making of the video, I got like 1200 crochet tutorials. I got anything you could ever want to make. And you know multiples of them I put them on all the time we also talk about yarn so uh, first off I do have a tutorial for that blanket that you see or that throw and that is called my theater seats throw you can do it it's easy I'm confident enough in my teaching skills that you can do it yeah you got it you got it you got anything on my channel all right I do have a tutorial for this cardigan here this is called from grandpa's closet it does not really match my t-shirt but you know what i'm rolling with it okay um it's very nice now there's a purpose why i'm wearing this one today all right so this is from grandpa's closet it does have ribbing around the bottom as well okay and i do have a tutorial for this hat this is called my stitch sampler beanie um you will find all that and more on my channel but today we're going to be going to be talking about yarn and please do not let my fiery inferno inside my wall distract you <sighs> it is what it is i'll change it out from time to time who knows what bag of day will have up there from time to time sometimes i have a slideshow of my tutorials going off uh what i have tutorials on but today it's it's cold so nice cozy fireplace all right let's begin mm. okay so this particular sweater that i am wearing right now that's called from grandpa's closet which i do have a tutorial a tutorial for um is made with an extremely nice yarn it's made with drops sky which is a uh baby alpaca merino uh blend and it's nice it's a three weight and it's nice and stretchy so lightweight because it's chain spun and this thing is nice it's not itchy at all look i don't even have a long sleeve undershirt on um usually i wear a tank top underneath it but you know i have sorry i'm so white there i don't get out much anyways um usually you know it's so lightweight i think that this is a beautiful cardigan not only for you know i live in illinois where it's cold but if you live down south um and maybe it don't get i don't know how cold it gets down south but if it doesn't you know we've been getting negative 30 wind chills but even if it gets you know this would be nice for like fall weather you know like in the 50s and stuff like that even you know probably the 60s because it's so lightweight and you know it, it, it's just it feels good it's not heavy at all it's nice and drapey and it's it's wonderful anyways i wanted to get some more of that yarn to make more cardigans out of it and this i have i was just typing it in so i could see the cheapest place to find it and this yarn company came up that i never heard of i like to buy from new yarn companies um and and um you know try them out and let you guys know about them if you know my i can only tell you my experience with them um i have on this yarn or from this yarn that i got this is the only one on the list that i've ever had before i think the rust is all new to me and that makes it even better so the yarn company is called Linde Hobby. I think I said that right. It is a Dutch company. L I N D E H O B B Y. Now I will leave a direct link to their website. I'm not affiliated with them, 
I just found them on the internet. They had this cheaper than anybody. So I'm like, I'm going to give them a go. So of course I checked out all their other yarns. They have a lot of different brands of yarn, such as, you know, Drops and Katia. They have DMC, uh, Regina Malbrego. Um, they have quite a few of the yarns that Hobie or Hobby from Denmark sells, um, but cheaper. Um, and then they have lots of brands I've never even heard of in my life. They have the Schepke's brand. You know, you just have to go on there. They have a lot of brands. And like I said, a lot of them I have never heard of. And I will probably, after I open it and check everything out, if everything goes well, I'll probably order from them again. Because, let's see, I ordered from them. It says that they ship, um, or they, sh they you know ship from their warehouse i think it said from within two to five days or, or two to three days i can't remember they shipped two hours after i ordered it i ordered it and two hours later they notified me and said here's your tracking number i was like holy crap uh, that was fast and not only do they pack well for me this is only my experience okay i don't i don't know i did order it late at night and you know it's you know when they were probably different time zones because I live in the States um you know when their company was probably open so if you order it during if you live in the States and you order it during the day it would probably be during the night I guess I'm not sure the time zone difference but <laughs> anyways so much yarn they also have patterns and buttons and all you know knickknacks all kinds of stuff it's a little bit resemblance of hobby h-o-b-b-i-i -I, or hobie however you want to say it but different and um, less expensive and more flavors of yarn that I've heard of. Well, they have a lot of flavors that I've never heard of, but some flavors that, you know, mm. don't get me wrong. I like Hobby, H-O-B-B or Hobby, however you guys say it from Denmark, but I kind of think they're expensive. And I only buy from them when they have sales. This company looks relatively pretty cool so far. So, now the shipping. It says they ship worldwide. Worldwide. Uh, two to four day delivery. They ship a D... Okay. The shipping. I'm going to talk about that real quick before I show you the yarn. Seven minutes in and I'm going to show you the yarn. Okay. So, DHL Express. Shipping should arrive in two to three working days is just I think it's just flat up 1995 is what it says but I got charged 1990 I don't know what the deal with that is and then they have a home delivery with UPS which is 1495 and it also says three to four or three to five days oh and DHL says two to three all right needless to say um they shipped it in two they shipped it it was like two hours it hit from um where denmark to the states um in illinois in um two days it was here but it did get stuck up with the snowstorm so it actually took four days to get to my house but i can't complain because had it not been in snowstorms it would have been here in three days just like they say so, you know, I can't complain about that. That's pretty good. Now, let's look at the yarn, right? I just want to tell you a little bit about my experience overall. They have a crap ton of yarn. Um, and they shipped it pretty fast. I mean, I got in four days. It would have been a lot faster. Like I said, I probably would have got a day sooner had we not had storms. Um, and the shipping was actually... I paid for DHL Express at, uh, at Hobby or Hobie or whatever and it's $30 here it was 1990 or 1990 is what I got charged so I know Hobie also has or Hobby or whatever has free shipping if you spend so much but that stuff <laughs> it took like six weeks last time I did so I was asking people how long that Hobby's free shipping took and people were saying like seven ten days it took me like six weeks to get it 
I, I will always do DHL from now on with them for sure. Let's open up this box. One, two. For, so right now we're talking about Lin, Linde, Lindy or Linde Hobby. Linde Hobby. It's all together one word. Remember, I'll leave a direct link to their site. Not affiliated with them or anything. Just thought maybe. I'm so excited because I think there's only one yarn that I've maybe I might have seen I think there might be another one I've seen before but never used oh some of these brands I never even heard of and if like I said the experience so far was wonderful and if the yarn is cool I'm gonna buy from them again because um oh they had yarns I've never seen and I love to look at yarns that I've never seen oh my my oh my my it's my yarn fingers oh oh look they vacuum seal them so they can fit more in the box and it, you know it doesn't cost as much to ship that's awesome i'm super excited yeah denmark denmark all right I'm so stoked. You have no idea how. I'm just excited to get this. This was the cheapest place I could find at $5.99 a ball. I usually get it at the Wool Warehouse. It's more money there. Don't get me wrong, though. I still like the Wool Warehouse. It is my favorite yarn company within the United States. But here's a new one. Er, Wool Warehouse is my favorite yarn company outside the United States. But you know what? Like I said, here's a new one. You never know, right? You never know. I'll have to buy from them a few times, though, just to make sure. I like the way it's vacuum sealed and vacuum sealed bags. Keeps uh, it clean. Plus, you know, they can. It poops right back up. Plus, they can, you know, fit more in a box. All right. Let's see what we got. I'm <laughs> so excited. Okay. Okay. What is this? This is a brand that, that I see on a hobby sometimes, or Hobie, or whatever you guys call it. I call it a hobby. It's the J J Jarbo brand. J A R B O. That's what their cookie yarn is. Um, if you guys ever seen that. Um, but it's a brand that they have on this site, and um, they have the cookie yarn too, like I said. A lot cheaper uh, <laughs> but that's okay that's okay so this is the name I'm not gonna be able to pronounce probably a lot of these yarns that I've never seen before because I'm not gonna pronounce anything that's what that is and it's that I'm not probably not even saying that right Jar Jarbo brand I'm not I'm not saying it right I'm not saying it right J A R B O. But then it's got the two dots over the A, so I'm sure it's some type of. So this is what this is. Let's read it. Ooh, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, I know someone who would love that. I mean, back with day, of course. But I know someone else who would love that. Okay, let's read it. This is classified as a medium weight number four 100% super wash wool. Um, it's a 100 gram ball, 208 meters. I'm just going to be saying meters if they just have meters on the ball since, you know, in the U.S. we're the only ones that say yards. Anyways, just know 208 meters is close to 225 yards, something like that, all right? Um, machine, oh, they're recommending a... Uh, four millimeter knitting needle and a four millimeter hook it's not what i would use but that's okay i don't ever go by the recommendations anyways i only read them when i tell you guys about yarn um washing instructions it says you can wash on cold but to lay flat to dry do not use fabric softener all right the color i have here is called i don't know what, what color it is. Let me bring on my... When when you deal with yarns sometimes, you know, from different places, sometimes you, uh... Well, me anyways. I, uh... 
can't read. I don't know. It's in different languages sometimes. <laughs> How about that? Um, so I'm going to find this. I'm going to tell you what it is. Okay. Organic green is the color. So why don't we look at it and feel it. It smells really clean. Um, that smells clean. That is some fresh smelling yarn. I got to give it that. Okay. So they're saying this is a four weight. Let's check out their four weight. There you guys go. I hold it up and you guys can decide what you think it is. I would agree with them on a four way if since it being a uh, super wash merino, I think they said. Um is it is that what they said? I'm so I'm so excited. I don't know why. I, I know why. It's because of joints I've never touched or felt or I'm gonna make sure this is like super wash or if this is just like yes. It says 100% wool superwash. It doesn't like say marine or anything. Okay, the feel of it is, it's fine. I would wear a scarf out of it. It wouldn't bother me. But I, um, man, that smells good. That's nice. Um, it's probably, you know, you can tell that it's like it's wool. It doesn't really feel like a like a super superwash merino. But it's soft enough, though, that you could wear a scarf out of it. But on a soft and scale, it might feel like uh, a notch above Red Heart Super Saver. But remember, that is wool that you're feeling. So, um, 100%. I think I'll make a hat out of that. That's nice. Now, this stuff was $8.90 a cake. I do not know if this is, like, a good brand. Uh, the the Jar Jarbo. Because I've only seen it at a hobby before and I've only bought like their cake, the cookie cakes and whatnot. So, anyways, I would uh, assume for that price it pro probably is. Actually, that's not really a bad price for, for wool and that much. Yeah, I'm gonna make a hat out of that. How exciting. Okay, and then I someone told me that I needed to get this. Now, this is from this. They told me in the comments section a while back um, about this company, uh, Jarbo, that I'm, I'm probably not saying that right. I know I'm not. That uh, Hobby sells. And someone said I needed to get the big Verona um, from them. Ho Ho Hobby didn't have it. Um, and this was a little while ago. And when I was looking on this side, I'm like, Oh yeah, someone told me I should try that. They had it. So this is what this is. So this is an acrylic, a 100% acrylic yarn. And this smells very... There's no bad smell at all. This smells good, huh? Um, the Vig Verona. 200 grams, 500 meters. So 550 yards or so, um, and they're saying it's a 100% acrylic, made in Italy, machine washable, but do not dry. I I noticed like all yarns say that now. There's like there's like don't dry the yarn, no matter what yarn it is, don't dry it, except for Red Heart Super Saver. They're like do whatever, man. That stuff's gonna last you 100 years. I don't know why, but let's feel this. So this is um. They're not giving a weight classification on this. So we're just going to classify it ourselves. So they're saying the red is pretty. It's pretty true to color right now. Um, it's a cherry red. You know, you got to love a good red. I love a good red. Um, knitting needles, four mil. Uh, hook size, four to four and a half. So I'm going to say that's probably a DK weight. There we go. That's going to be my classification is a DK. But you guys can say what you want. There it is. And this was... Um, how much was it? $8.95. And that is for 
550 meters, so about 550 yards of uh, an acrylic, I don't know, whatever you guys think that it, it's a, if it's a DK, it's probably on the thicker side of a DK, thinner four. That's what I would say. The feel of that is probably um, red hot with love. How about that? Is it the softest acrylic I've ever felt? No. Is it the worst? No. Um, so I always say like my baseline for acrylic is Red Heart Super Saver and that's like for value acrylic. I would am assuming this is maybe a value acrylic. I have no idea because I don't know I don't know anything about this company. But uh for this brand of yarn. But uh I would give it a, you know a couple notches above uh Red Heart Super Saver. I would say it's similar to Joanne's Big Twist maybe. Um um, you know, yeah, but it is, you know, it feels thinner. I'm thinking it's a three, three way. Maybe it reminds me that, that big hobby yarn, they have those big things, kind of, I don't know. Anyways, that's nice, I like that. I mean, it's a nice, it just seems like a value acrylic though, to me. Smells clean. Smells clean. All right. Okay, this is the same brand. Okay, I can't, I'm not going to be able to pronounce any of that. Right there it is. So it's that same brand, J-A-R-B-O, and that's what it is. Mm -hmm. I'll let you guys deal with that one, okay? Um, but we're going to go ahead and read about it. So, it's a beautiful, beautiful color, right off the bat. It is a, a stiff yarn, so it's probably a 100% straight up wool, is going to be my guess. Pure Swedish wool. Awesome. 100 grams or 135 meters. So, yes, it's just a straight up Swedish wool. So yes, this is straight up, like, the smelling straight up fresh off the farm wool. My favorite smell. Okay, so this was $8.20 um, for a hank. Um, the color is called Copper Mine. M-I-N-E, Copper Mine. I like it. But you definitely wouldn't want to wear it against your skin. Probably um, you could make a cardigan or something out of it and wear a shirt underneath it. Or maybe for a hat. Um, and I definitely, it would felt. Um, and yes, hand wash and, and you know, washing like fat. Of course, knitting needle 5 mil. Uh, hook size 5.5. And no classification on the weight, but there you go. Here we go. That's a nice thick four. Nice. I like that. It is. So remember, though, if you don't like straight up wool that will felt, this is this is a straight up wool wool. It's not going to be soft at all. I don't know if I've ever had a pure Swedish wool before. Neat. All right. Let's move on. Let's move on. Move on. Okay. So, I got the, look at this. I got the drop sky. That's it. Vacuum nut, vacuum sealed. This was $5.99 a ball there. Couldn't find it cheaper anywhere else. Um, where, you know, when I was looking. Um, $5.99 a ball. It, I thought it was a good price. So, this is what my sweater is made out of. It's right here. Drop Sky. Is that what I said? If I didn't, I didn't mean to. So, they do vacuum seal it, so you gotta kinda uncrumble your wrappers back up. And there you go. Flew your ball. There we go. Good as new, you know? It's like it was never even vacuumed. So, I love this stuff so much. Isn't that a beautiful, beautiful blue? 
Now, the drop sky, like I said, I have had this before. My sweater's made out of it. That's why I bought it again, so I can make another sweater. Is um, a Baby Alpaca Merino Wool Blend. But it's by Drops Yarn. And it's 74% alpaca, 18% polyamide, and 8% wool. We have... It's a 50 gram ball, um, 190 meters or 207 yards. Um, so for me, and it's chain spun and it's a lightweight three. So look at the stretch on that. See that chain spun formation? Spun like that. That's why it's such a lightweight yarn. That uh, chain spun allows the air to go through it free freely. Which makes it just so soft and this like so like a pillow. Now yeah, that is some soft yarn. I'm wearing it. It is super soft. So this this was $5.99 a ball there. Um the drop sky. Um like I said, that was the cheapest I could find. Now this is called color number 23 navy blue. Um now, as far as navy blue goes, uh, navy blue is my favorite color of blue. I wouldn't myself necessarily call this navy. Um, maybe a light navy. How about that? How about it's a cross between a royal blue and a navy blue? A light navy or a dark royal. Does that make sense? I'll call it a light navy. How about that? It, but I still think it's very beautiful blue. I do. I navy like I uh, always say that uh, all the blues in all the world, navy is my favorite. So I'm pretty. This is I would just say a light a light navy or a navy royal blue cross between the two colors. I don't know. It's pretty and soft though. So I did get it. It, it took uh, what I, I think it took twelve and a half or thirteen balls. Think, to make this particular cardigan that I'm wearing now that would depend on the size that you're making and what stitch you use um, the next one I make I'm gonna make the ribbing thicker around it and I'm gonna do a uh, different type of ribbing and different stitch and so you know I don't really know how much it's gonna take but um, I did get enough that I think that I'll you know I think I'll have enough to to do it so yeah beautiful so this was the reason why i found this company was that beautiful beautiful Nate, this beautiful drop sky the brown that i'm wearing right now is called hazelnut this came from the wool warehouse well you know i couldn't stop there because i like the yarn so much i got a few more colors to make sweat if i find to make cardigans out of this is so soft and so like lightweight. Okay, so I got this pretty green one. This is the same. It's the Drop Sky. Same thing I just showed you in the blue. $5.99 a ball. Um, the color on this one is called Drop Sky. Where you at? Drop Sky dark ivy so this is is absolutely beautiful now on these this is called this is like a uni color so i don't know if that means like they have uni colors and then they have ones that are um mixed color i think uni might be i don't know what it means a couple colors together i don't know but anyways that's a very pretty green that is a beautiful beautiful green it's like a kind of like an army color green maybe or dark army color green or a dark you know uh what do they call it um dark ivy yeah i would i would say that it's very very gorgeous that's beautiful it smells so good it's so soft so I got these. I'm not going to mix them, of course. I'm going to um, make separate separate ones. Okay. 
Yeah, no, I didn't stop there. It's flattened out. I got it in yellow as well. Uh, the color on this one is... I got other yarns in here, don't worry. The color on... Hide the way that you open it and this poofs up. Uh, this one is called Curry. So, I love this. This is the same. And this one was a uni color. No, no, no. A mix. Mix color, I think. Yeah. Curry. So, that's pretty. Now, you can see the mixed colors into, in that one. This brown one that I'm wearing, wearing is a mixed color. And it has, like, mixed browns in it. This has, you can see. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. So, you know, it is pretty much a curry color, I would say. It's a nice golden sunflower uh, mustard Dijon mustard, I guess. Yellow. My favorite yellow. Um, but in it, the mixed color, you can see like splotches of orange and maybe like, I don't know, like green maybe? I don't know, but whatever it is, it's outstandingly stunning. Isn't that beautiful? That is gorgeous and it's so soft. I'm in love with this yarn. That is so, that's like, the pictures did not do that one justice, to tell you the truth. I thought, you know, I just, that that's beautiful. Okay, I got one more of the sky colors, and then I'll move on to something different. You're like, finally, huh? Finally, move on to something different. Everything's so vacuum-packed. <laughs> it's cool, though. It's cool. Um... Ah, I'm feeling a little old here. I'm sorry. Okay. And then I got this one, which has a yellow one in with it. I never, I don't think I, I know I show in vacuums packs, but I don't think they do it this tight. This is, now we'll flip it up. Get some air into it. This is good to go. Okay, this is the last color of the sky I got. I had to get it. You know, I wanted to get one that was charcoal color, but I have uh, some sheepdogs, a couple girl sheepdogs, and they're white mostly, and some black. And I really can't wear black for very long before it turns white. So, I keep a lint roller nearby. This is beautiful. I'm glad I got this one. This one's called Unicorn. And this one's a, a mixed color as well. Look at that! Unicorn. So it's mainly a really purplish, like a purplish pinkish gray, if I could say that. Um, if you look, you can see there's pink in it, there's purple in it, and I think there's gray in it, in it or blue in it, or something. Um, but that is absolutely outstanding. I love this drop sky. I might have to, if it wasn't so dang much money, I could become a collector of the, all the drop skies. <clears throat> okay, so those are the four drop skies I got to make sweaters with. I'm keeping these all, these are all, okay. Oh my my, I would be hard to choose a favorite, but if I had to force to choose a favorite, it's definitely, actually, I have a favorite right off. Can you guys guess it? It's the, it's the curry. That's stunning. I love them all though. Um, they're all very, very pretty. I do wish the blue was a bit darker. Like a real dark navy. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But other than that, they are all very beautiful. I cannot wait to use them. All right, that is so pretty. If you haven't tried this and you got the maze, man, this stuff is so nice. Gosh, you need to make this sweater. You need to make it. All right, I'm gonna move on because my dog's barking. That's my dog, George. He's a, a murky, you know. He doesn't even know what he's barking at. Just a second. 
Okay, sorry, he's not barking at anything. So <laughs> there's another one of those uh, orange ones. Okay, and then I got this, which is kind of the same as the orange, but it's it was different somehow. I think it's a little thinner. Other than that, it's the same. See so yeah, this one has the four TR. I don't know what that means, but. Um, they were the same price and let's look at what's different about them. They're pure Swedish wool This one it has 180 meters. This has 135. So this is going to be a bit thinner. That red is absolutely gorgeous It's like a blood red Very very gorgeous red. I mean I'm all for a good Good dark blood red man. Who, who isn't though really who isn't? This was, uh, what did I say it was? A40 a bowl or something, I think. Now remember, this is straight up wool. So, so there you go. There's a weight on that. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever you want to call that. I'm, I call it hat makeup material. That's what I call it. But you can call it whatever you want. And you can see the difference. The other one was thicker. So, yeah. The other one was like a thick four. This might be on the thinner side of a four. So, or whatever you guys think. So that's the difference between them two. But my gosh, both colors are hat making material, but that red is stunning. Gosh, I love a good red. Hmm. I like this red better than the cherry red. The darker the red, it's better, I think. Okay, I don't have very many more left, but this um, I knew was going to be thin but um i had to try it because it's made out of my second favorite uh fiber well tied for a second this is the jarbo brand again J A. I know i'm not saying that right and i apologize to people that know how to say it correctly this is called llama silk Okay, llama and alpaca are tied for my second favorite fiber in the whole wide world. And cashmere is number one with uh, merino coming in at number three. For anybody that wants to know, I love wool, any type of wool, but those are my top three favorites. But I love all yarn. This is so... <laughs> It's soft. This this drops guy is very very soft because it's most mainly alpaca and merino, a little bit of merino, but they're both very very soft. This is a different softness. This is a more of a silky soft, but that could be why it's called llama silk. So why don't we read that's a beautiful color? That is a very beautiful. Oh man. I don't know what I would call it. It's not like a bright mustard yellow or maybe it is. I don't know what I would call that. It's not like bright yellow. It's not. It's like yellow with a tint of green mixed in it maybe. I don't know what you would call that. It's not like a chartreuse or whatever that is. It's not as green as that one. But whatever this color is, it's pretty. Let's see what they call it and let's read about this. This feels like butter man and it smells like some nice clean yarn oh man llama silk baby llama and silk yarn so that's probably why it's got that silky feel to it it's soft 50 grams 165 meters um and this oh they're calling it lime yellow okay so you know, I said, I don't know. It's not like a bright yellow. It, it might be appearing a little brighter on the screen, but eh, it might be kind of close. It's not like neon yellow or anything. It's very, very pretty. It's like a golden... I can't explain it. Whatever. Um, let's read about it. We shall read about it. 70% uh, baby llama. Nice. 30% mulberry silk. Made in Bolivia. Nice. Nice. This is nice. Mm, that's nice yarn. It's all nice. It's all nice yarn. Um, 
The recommending knitting needle is three and a half and crochet hook is three and a half you hand wash and lay flat. Now um yardage did I tell you that? Oh yeah I did 165 meters per hank. Let's check out the weight that we think it is. I knew it wasn't gonna be like a like a way that I could probably use but I had to get it I love llama actually that's not real bad well you know that's like a thinner three weight I actually bought uh, these are um, seven if they have it like the more you buy you'll save a little bit more on a regular though there's 775 a piece um, which I would pay that all day for. That is nice. I love llama though. So an alpaca. That is might be doable for me. I got six of them. And since I got six of them, I got them for seven dollars and thirty cents each. Um, now it makes me six. Now I think it being that lightweight. I, I, you know, it's not, like I said, it's not as light as I thought it was going to be. I absolutely adore the color of it. I don't know. I just, I love it. I love the color. Um, it's a three, maybe a thicker two, I wish we'll think, you know, on the three, like three, like a mandala three, you know, how regular mandala is kind of thin. You know what? I don't use thin yarns because they hurt my hands. I can barely use a three unless I really, really like the yarn. If I really, really like the yarn, I'll use it too. I might just, I really like this. You might see this made into a cowl or an infinity, infinity scarf. I got enough for an infinity. I could probably double wrap it too. Yeah, that's nice. Mmm, that's nice. So that brand in particular just must be a nice brand of yarn in general i don't know but definitely definitely okay i got two more to show you i absolutely uh, two more and i'm done i'm sorry videos new yarn store new yarns man this is okay I'll poof it up there we go it's all poofed it's all poofed so it's got some no i got more than two to show you george will you chill out i got three more to show you i'm sorry Chill it out, George. Dang, man, you're ruining my vid. This is so much going to. You know, I had a feeling that this was going to be nice. And, you know, I, I, I knew. I knew it was going to be a nice yarn. I knew it. I could tell by the fiber content. So, I'll tell you a story about it. This is the Drops brand. This is the Puna yarn. Puna is soft and warm, a super fine alpaca made in Peru. Um, it's 100% alpaca. Again, tied with llama for my second favorite fiber in the whole wide world. I knew it. I knew it. And you know, I only got three of these. I actually had more in my cart, enough to make a cardigan out of, but this pretty gray. I, But I didn't have the money to buy that many because I bought four different colors of sky. And then it left me no funds to buy the Puna. <laughs> but I'll go back. I'll go back when my yarn funds hit, hit oh, you know, roll over. I'll go back and I'll get this Puna because I haven't seen it cheaper anywhere else. This is nice and soft. Definitely would make a nice sweater. Dang it. You know, though, but I would have to have gotten like 20 of them um, to make probably make a sweater. Maybe. Let me see. So it is a recommended uh, knitting needle is a four millimeter hook size um the, the same um 50 grams 110 meters 120 yards 100 percent alpaca so yeah i would have had to 120 yards um i think it was a three-way if i remember right oh my gosh that's thinner than a three it's thinner than a three but man is it soft 
Here we go. What? Whatever you say that is. I think that's a thin three. So that little hairs you see on it are alpaca. And no, it's not itchy at all. It's like soft like butter. It's so nice. So nice. I do wish that was thicker. Like a four weight, not a three. Here you go. Whatever you guys think that is. You guys. So that's a light, light three. And that could be wishful thinking on my part. <laughs> but whatever you guys think. Yeah, I'd have to get about uh, 18. 20. I would, tw I'd probably have to get 20 balls, yeah. Yeah, I would. And this stuff is three seventy nine a ball. So you can see how that would add up quite um to make me a sweater i would people always ask how do you know how much to get well i don't really i just kind of know like how much to get on what i'm making depending on the weight of the yarn and usually i have overage sometimes i don't um especially if it's thinner weights i'm not as good at get i'm not as good at guessing them as i am you know the thicker weights but um I know that if I, for me, for my size, that if I buy 2,000 yards of a four weight yarn, that I'll be able to make a cardigan. Actually, probably less now, because I, you know, I lost, I did lose a bunch of weight. But I knew, you know, that that would probably make a large size cardigan um, in a four weight yarn in, in any stitch I wanted to use. Or even if I wanted to use like mixed bobbles or cables in it, I knew, I know that that would be enough to do it um but that you know that just you know i but then again if i didn't use bobbles and cables i would have extra so that's just the way it goes i just i try to buy more than not enough now this being a thinner weight yarn it would be you know i don't work with yarns this thin very often so it would be kind of a toss-up for me but since I don't wear the larger size anymore, but I do still like to wear them a little baggy, I still think I would get 10 of these at 120 yards a piece. And I would hope that that would be enough of a light three. I think that it would. Because like I said, I did this with 13, 13 balls of a, of a three, regular three. Um... Oh, 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 okay, that, no, that wouldn't be enough. The, these are 207 yards of ball. So, that took me, dang, 2,600 yards of a, this, this is a regular three weight to make this sweater. So, I, you know, 20 of, of these would not be enough for me. You know, I'd probably have to be pushing like, I don't know. 25 for 30? Dang, you get nice yarn. Your sweater presses that up, don't they? That's nice. But anyways, I only got three this time. I know 379 a ball sounds nice, doesn't it? Until you realize, you know, you need 20, 30 balls to make your cardigan. <laughs> and adds up. But that's okay because this fiber is so soft. I might, I might go back and get some more. I don't know. I'm going to try to get the cardigans done with what I have first. But that is nice. I bought three balls to make a hat with it. And I will. That will be enough for me to make a hat. You know, that's uh, 300, what, 330 yards. Oh, 360 yards. Yeah. That's plenty enough for this weight to make a hat. So I'll have a nice, very, very nice, very beautiful gray soft as heck man nice everything is so nice and if i like if i can work with that okay um and you know it looks good who's to say i might not go back and make cardi out of it because i do love alpaca and that is some nice alpaca <laughs> bit thin but nice all right i got one more to show you now this is uh drops to this is drops air so and flutes right up 
Oh my, that's pretty. Let's look at this one. So I did hopefully get enough of this to make a cardigan. The drop sale is $4.99 a ball. Okay, I think that, that was the cheapest place that I've seen it. There it is, Drops Air Mix. It is a medium thick blown yarn <clears throat> made of baby alpaca and merino wool. All right. Um, it's 65 alpaca and Twenty-eight polyamide and seven percent wool. So it's kind of similar to the fiber content of this, the drops air or drop sky, except for the drop sky has merino in it, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. The sky and the air. Okay, the sky is what my sweater is made out of. It's a chain spun yarn. This is a blown yarn. I'm going to show you the difference. A lot of the times people will call a blown yarn a chain spun yarn. They are a little similar, but I'll, tell, I'll show you the difference if you don't know real quick. You can leave if you want. My videos are always way too long. But anyways, um, these have a similar fiber content, but it's the way that they're spun is what makes them different. Um, this has just a bit like 10% more, 9% more alpaca in it, the, the sky does, what my sweater's made out of. Um, a little less polyamide, and about the same in wool. Other than that, they're pretty dang yardage. Um, ooh, this has the less yardage, okay. It's a thicker weight though, I do believe if I remember. So this has a um, hundred, it's a 50 gram ball, 150 meters or 164 yards. Okay, soft man, that's some soft stuff. I mean, this is soft. I can't really explain it. They're soft in a different way. This is more of a fuzzy soft, like not itchy, not itchy. More of a fuzzy soft. This is more of a squishy soft. Uh, how do you do, I mean, I don't know. This one's more like a butter silky soft. I love that yellow. And this is just more of a butter silky, buttery soft. They're all soft. Well, besides these straight up wools, they're not soft, but I knew they wouldn't be. Um, mm, let's read this real quick and then I'll show you the difference. Okay, we read it, right? And the color I have here is uh, the Drops Air is the blown yarn. It's called Orange Mix. I actually had a red in my cart, right? And I'm like, I don't know, that orange is looking pretty dang pretty. Um, it's like a brick red is what I would call it myself I would call it like brick red gosh that's soft fuzzy soft fuzzy soft okay let's check the weight on it there we go yeah it's thicker than the uh it's thicker than the sky so I would say that's a four weight um and the sky yarn that my sweater is made out of is a three so you can see their difference in them so that's one difference other than the fiber con content being s similar, this one's thicker, so it does have a little less yardage. Um, and this one is a chain spun, this one is blown. Now let me show you the difference, so chain spun yarn, you can see right off, it's just spun in that chain formation. You see that? You, if you pull it apart, you can see the chains. You see them? It's like hooked together. And little chains and air is allowed to freely flow through it that's what makes it so such a lightweight drapey garment garment okay see I'm hearing this looks like little chains okay now a blown yarn which is often often people will call a blown yarn a chain spun because it, you know it's similar but yeah it, it's not the same so a blown yarn looks like this um, they're they're different all blown yarns look different so what it is it is a mesh tube um usually white or black um and i look in this one and i can tell that the mesh tube in it is black so it's a hollow mesh tube 
that it looks like chains. It's a hollow chain mesh tube. Like I said, either white or black. And then the fibers are blown through that mesh tube. And then as they're blown through, they come out of the holes of that mesh tube. Um, depending on what yarn you get and how much fiber they blow into the tube, um, really depends on how much fiber comes out of the tube. So this one has quite a bit of fiber coming out of the tube. And that is fine by me. I like the fuzzy yarn. Some people don't. If you look here, let me get a place that doesn't have a lot. You can see inside there's a black. Um, it's a black, you can see that black, right? Hollow mesh tube that looks like it's chain spawn, but it's chain, it's like a chain mesh hollow tube. And they take these fibers and they blow it through it. So that's why it's called a blown yarn. And like I said, depending on how much, how many fibers, how much of it they blow through, um, they'll start to come, you know, fuzz up outside of the, of the, uh, hollow tube. I love this. This is beautiful. That's a beautiful yarn. That's going to make an extraordinary cardigan for me. I hope I got enough. I think that I did. Um, if not, you know, whatever, $4.99, I'll have to go back and get some more. Um, but I, I'm trying to figure out, you know, since I'm different size now. Yeah, I think I got enough. I'm pretty certain I did, but that's going to be so pretty. Now, sometimes these blown yarns being that fuzzy type of yarn, some people won't want to work with them because sometimes they have, they're kind of, when you start to pull them apart, they have the tendency to snag a little bit, kind of like a roving style yarn does. Some some do it more than others, and some won't do it at all. Some will do it really bad. I've never used this, so I cannot tell you. So my best uh, <clears throat> my best advice I could give you, if you've never used this, I have never crocheted with it. So I will just not make a mistake. <laughs> You know that's not going to happen. <clears throat> no, I'll just crochet with it carefully. And if it, uh, hopefully it comes apart easily. Um, by the looks of it, it's, you know what? The yarns like this surprise me. I've seen them so fuzzy and I'm like, there's no way it's coming apart. And it comes apart with not one mistake. And then I'll have yarns that just look just fine. There's not even any fuzz on them. And they're going to hang up and tangle, tangled up all over each other. So really, I really don't know. Um, I, I can't tell you that, but I can tell you that it's super soft and the colors are, you can see there's multi different colors in it, uh, but overall it's like a brick, brick red. Maybe some people would call it a reddish copper. Mm -hmm. Um, what they call it? Oh, they, they just called it orange mix. Okay. So, and it's the mix is there's different colors of so there's like brick red and orange in it so yeah a brick red or a coppery coppery red I guess I don't know how do you explain it it's gorgeous I can say that uh so that's what I got okay so if you're still with me thank you uh for me gushing over all this yarn for so long and you guys probably, probably made everybody sick but so what can I tell you oh, my overall thoughts about this company well, okay, Linde Hobby from Denmark. They ship super fast. They got it to me fast. Um, they had the drops yarn cheaper, all of them, than I um, seen anywhere else. Um, now, when it comes to, I mean, the, the Jarbo brand yarn, I don't know enough about that brand to tell you if the prices are good. But I know that the brands that they had, or the varieties that they had that Hobby carried, it, it, they were cheaper there. But Hobby doesn't have like this stuff and, and things like that. So the, the other, uh, it, from Denmark, Hobie or whatever you guys call it. Um, I like the way they package. I think it's super neat how they vacuum seal it and then you cut in and it's just like this. That's a nice way to save on shipping. 
and the shipping I don't I think the price of it was outstanding um, $19.90 I know a lot of people don't like to pay shipping and I understand that I paid mine says DHL Express $19 and like I said it got here really fast four days it would have been three had it not had not we been in snowstorms and stuff um, I'm super happy with it all this stuff though like I said it's like straight up wool um, but it will make it would be a hat for me and this is does feel like wool but it's not um, as wooly as the other one but then again it is a wool yarn it's that same brand that starts with the J and then this one is just kind of like I don't think I would buy this again because it's just kind of a basic acrylic plus it's a thin DK it's not anything I would ever buy again but there, then again there's nothing wrong with it um, at all there's nothing wrong with it it's just uh, I can get basic acrylic here that feels the same um, you know and I'm not a fan of DK anyways but overall I mean it's it they have so many yarns I want to try that I've never heard of in my life but I did play it safe getting the drop sky because I knew that I wanted to make more cardigans out of it um, I love the air drops air and if it works up nice it doesn't tangle up too bad I think it'll turn a nice cardigan I'll buy more of that and the Puna my gosh that is super scrumptious definitely if it works up if I can work with it it's pretty thin I have problems with them thin yarns but if it's okay I'm gonna try to make a hat I'd love to get enough to make a cardi the stuff is so sticking nice too. this llama silk my gosh it's worth every penny they ask and more so will I buy from the company again heck yeah I would definitely buy from the company because like I said all these drop yarns that I'm showing you I couldn't find them cheaper anywhere else they're all extraordinary nice they have so many yarns that I've never heard of and I want to try them all so the shipping was super f was fast um, it's coming from Denmark to Illinois it's fast I'm speaking US dollars remember I'm speaking you know I don't pay any duties or customs unless you spend over $800 that's what that's the United States I don't know about other countries it could be different um, but it was as flat cost me $19 to ship it um, DHL that's what it was and like I said they had another one that was $14.95 to ship it says they ship worldwide and they got tons of yarn so when my yarn budget budget for February rolls over I'm gonna hit the store up again because they have so many yarns I've never heard of in my entire life they even have even had one called onion yarn I have never heard of that brand before in my life but I'm certainly gonna try it so many brands plus like I said the, the drops was just so inexpensive there and I love all these so much they're so soft I think though it, this will be my first color on my hook and this one might be my second something about that you that unicorn is that what it was that I like this is the pink and purple and the blue it's like a unicorn all right, I'm gonna go. I'm sorry. I can't wait to try that too. That's nice. It's pretty. I love the. I love it all. I can't say anything bad about the company. I'm first only my first time, but I got everything I ordered. Um, all the drops that I got, like I said, was cheaper than anywhere else. This other stuff, I don't know. No, really, know much to compare it to. But I did see they had like some other yarns. Like the cookie yarn and stuff cheaper there the, they have some scape geese yarns I don't know much about that to really compare prices either um, I, I could look around but I was just mostly going for this drops air and then I'm like well I gotta get this other yarns they have all these, all these yarns I've never tried before and I just love it all I love the I just love it I just love the way they pack it's so cool I cut it open and it's just like poof Here's your fluffy soft yarn. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go wallow around in my new yarns and think of a uh, design for this. You know, it, oh, I would say the star stitch since it's kind of yellow, but I already have a cardi on the hook with the star stitch. That's okay. 
that's okay because I know plenty of stitches and I'll find a perfect stitch combo for this and this and this and this definitely this oh and the hat I might get that on the hook too but it's so light it'd take me a while to do that one I'm gonna go bye guys remember I'm gonna leave a link to their store below go check it out my overall experience first time was good let's just hope the second one which there will be is just as good as the first so for my first experience I can recommend them I can recommend them now if you guys have bought from them before let me know in the comments how your experience went all right I'm sorry my video is long I'll see you guys later bye